You're interested in the supernatural, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, I just finished editing my stream. It's all the proof you need. But before you watch it, I gotta ask you a question. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, that was me copying video titles from the hottest streamers on the Luo Fu. I heard they help attract more viewers. Enough chit-chat. Look, this is the weird stuff that happened yesterday when I was streaming in Fixtral Garden. What's up, guys? Little Gui here. We've come to the scariest, most haunted place in the Luo Fu. Fixtral Garden. Don't forget to like, follow, and share. Or else I'm gonna check it out. They say there's been paranormal activity You're such a scaredy cat. You said you'd protect me. How do I stab something in the middle of body? I think I just saw something go wrong. <laughs> Bestie got kicked out of the garden straight after. But did you see the key moment? Uh, it's called editing. I edited it. That way I can show what happened before and after. Anyway, the key moment was... It wasn't the Realm Keeping Commission or the Cloud Knights that came to deal with it. It was the judges from the Ten Lords Commission. That's what I'm saying! At first, Sushong didn't believe that Fixtral Garden was haunted. But after the judges showed up? In other words, something big must have happened in Fixtral Garden for them to show up. Possibly. But the judges kicked me and Sushong out of there straight away. It looks like they were setting something up in the garden before we left. There has to be a conspiracy. Oh, I mean, ghosts. Actually, do you have some free time? Do you want to explore Fixtral Garden together? Just the two of us? I guarantee you we're gonna reveal the truth this time. <laughs> I knew it. This is what people like us live for. Let's go. Extractor cleaned to your star skiff service. <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you the scary stories about Fixtral Garden? Sure. I guess now is not really a good time for stories. Don't worry. I can sum it up in a single sentence. Fixtral Garden used to be a garden delve. 
But people started coming here to mourn fallen Foxian fighters at the Foxum tomb, and rumors spread that the garden was haunted. I know it's easy to cast doubt, but the Ten Lords Commission actually showed up this time. Speaking of which, we have to avoid running into the judges. If we get kicked out, it'll all be for nothing. Anyway, that's the background. Let's keep moving and watch your step. There are ten Lords Commission spirit fairers on patrol. Let's go the other way. We'll head to the Foxum tomb first, then cut through the Locky Fox forest. Time to get some footage. Show no mercy. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Your end approaches. Conflict is hideous! Time well spent. Hey, hey, it looks like there's someone up ahead. Let's go around.
here among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Suppress. Conflict is pitiless. That's better. We will come. Try to do it. Flying such as this is best suited for your keeping. Sneaking around, are we? You're under arrest! You were so strong, bro. But these are Lolfu officials. If we're interrogated, we need to get our story straight. Halt! Whoa, whoa, what's up, guys? Hear me out. State your name and your business. Arrest them immediately. Individuals in a restricted area are detained first and interrogated later. No exceptions. Restricted area? Since when were you in charge of Fixtral Garden? Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Conflict is pitiless. Show no mercy. Wraith Warden, these two are not your enemies. Understood, Your Honor. Look how pale she is. And it seems like her eyes aren't even focusing. <gasps> is she a ghost? As a member of the Ten Lords Commission, you may as well consider me a member of the dead. I am a judge, alias Hanya. Responsible for the four duties of detention, incarceration, interrogation, and punishment. Therefore, I know a thing or two about you. Gwenaifen, an outworlder unemployed. You entered Fixtral Garden with Sushang, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Uh, unemployed? 
I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. It's a legit operation. As for this one here... You are a passenger on the Astral Express and a guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. You assisted the Cloud Knights in resolving the Ambrosial Arbor Calamity and are a friend of the Alliance. He's the Nameless? From the train? Tell me, Gwen Ifun, why did you return here? Uh... no reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> we have already told you there are no ghosts on the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Xianzhou, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. But I saw them! They had ghostly flames coming out of their body, and they were cackling! A and Sushan saw them too! Miss Gwenaifen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your homeworld onto the Xianzhou. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobi. I... really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Sienjo, right? That's gotta be it. Uh, maybe we should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. Uh, Mr. Tail. I heard you, I heard you. Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? Mr. Tail? I'm a Heliobus. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! Strange girl, here to film ghosts, yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. Deep breaths, little Gray. Deep breaths. <clears throat> Can I have a small chat with this Mr. Tail? I said scram! I have no time to talk nonsense with you! Finally, someone with common sense! No, no way! This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get something for my vids! Your Honor, if I may ask, what exactly is this fire thing? How can we prevent it from hurting people? And why is a judge carrying one around with her? I believe we're done here. We have important matters to attend to. Hua Hua, please see them off. Y yes ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. As I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped, and have been haunting this place. The Ten Lords Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave, for your own safety. If you have any questions, raise them now. 
I will do my best to satisfy your curiosity. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence, and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's... that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise we'll leave after asking our questions. As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited, but I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame, but that flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. Yes, they attach themselves to sentient beings, feeding off their host's experiences and emotions. A Heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the Heliobus, so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a Heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the Heliobus, like burnt firewood. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other Heliobi are nothing compared to me. Tail was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, Heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the Creation Furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. Not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. So that means the other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the Law Fu might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Unnecessary. Those not involved should leave now. Go. Um, excuse me. Oh, we should go. Fixtral Garden is full of abnormalities. Even the Ten Lords Commission cannot guarantee your safety. I suggest you leave immediately. Heliobi? Possession? That was a big info dump. My brain is still loading. Oh, it all sounds more like an urban myth than a ghost story. Energy Parasite sounds more cool than scary, don't you think? Mm, I never thought about it like that. Nice take. My audience likes getting to the bottom of mysteries, secrets, and conspiracies. We streamers have to cater to that, you know? Ugh, I've got loads more questions, but my curiosity is satisfied for now. We better leave before the judges decide to arrest us. I'm gonna see if I can get a video of Mr. Tail on the way back. I've already got the title. Demonic fire suddenly appears in Fixtral Garden. Innocent Foxy and girl possessed. What do you think? That gets so many views. Can you give me a hand? Mm, true. But 
should probably only do a few decades. <laughs> Let's go. Excuse me, can we go now? I... I'm just a bit scared about the Heliobite reports, but I'll carry out my duties and escort you out of the garden. I should be able to do that at least. <laughs> if you can't, then you'd better give up the day job and start peddling desserts. If it weren't for you, I would have opened a dessert stall ages ago! Shall we go? Let's go! Let's go this way. It's quicker. Miss Huahua, can we have Mr. Tail come out for a photo? Miss Queen Ethan, I'm on official duty right now. So quiet. It's getting scarier and scarier. Please stay close to me. Did you hear that? What was that sound? It's a ghost! Ah! What's happening? Miss Quainife and yell, so I got scared. Wait a minute. Where did Miss Quainife and go? Uh, Miss Quainife and. Oh. Did we lose her? Nifun, where are you? Hohoa, oh, stay close. Hohoa? Uh, oh no, where did she go? Is this a mirror? It looks a little creepy. This fixtural garden? But it looks different somehow. I should keep moving. Going on, I looped back again. I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. It, no, all roads are but puzzles in this place. Come, lost one. Do you desire to leave? Then <laughs> come and find me.
You have a strange scent on you. You must be. I have heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle. With none other than Fentilia. You... You are the one who drove Fentilia away. <sighs> what power. Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. One bite. Just one bite. I can't wait to savor you. These are no ordinary ingenia. <laughs> of course not. They are mere pawns dancing to my whim. Push them! Smash them to pieces! <laughs> what a peppery fighting spirit! Such an addictive flavor! <laughs> Made to be broken! Let me see... The one who defeated Fentilia? I wonder... What they taste like! Well, you are fighting for your survival after all. I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while. <laughs> Incredible. Such a relaxed specimen. A soft cake of a host. It's almost as if... As if this body doesn't even belong to you. What makes you so detached, young man? And what is this at your core? Sun? It burns! Never mind. I won't be staying for long. So let's get along while it lasts, shall we? You can call me Cirrus. I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sianzhou natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle, and no amount of walking will get you out of it. So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created, and you're going to help me evade the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win! How does that sound? You must have figured out that I'm not the master of this place. It was created by another Heliobus named Furinox. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who can help you escape from here. <laughs> you mean the talismans left behind by little lost fox judge? Those won't help you. <laughs> now that I'm possessing you, I can make you see things that you couldn't see before. <laughs> Good! I'm glad we understand each other. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact, for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. <laughs> Go! Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. You can trust me. I want to leave this place too. We are useful to each other. In any case, it doesn't matter if you don't trust me. It's not like you can be rid of me. Hey, use your eyes. I made the talismans float. Pay attention. There are so many paper dolls over there. Surely your judge friend left some clues for you. Won't you take a look?
you understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusory maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guests. It seems like we're ready. Now we just have to get out. I'd help you. The way out is straight ahead. Just keep going. Stop. Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. Ugh. Is this what humans call sympathy? How acerbic. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. Give it up. Gwenaifun was probably eaten by the Heliobi already. Huh? How can that be? If that could happen to someone as lively as Miss Gwenaifun, that means I'm in even more danger. <laughs> Did you know that the larynx is the easiest muscle to control in the human body? way out, right? Please take me with you. Oh, not this again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? You talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap. Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. I'm leaving, and you're not coming with me. Goodbye. Oh, but you did. And can you swear that you don't want to leave her behind? Not even a little. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? one around here who gets to tell this kid off. Me and those other judges. Got that? Wait. Hold on. I smell something familiar. Cirrus 
It's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a Kwai baby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 that won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail, a tail, a tail. <laughs> Well, you can't, coward! I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that boy's body! <laughs> Terrifying! <laughs> the joke's on you! You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried. You can't eat her, let alone escape from her. <laughs> Mr. Tail! You're pathetic. Darn it! Uh, think of something, you women! Oh, Mr. Trailblazer, take this talisman and stick it to your body. It'll temporarily suppress the Heliobus's influence. <laughs> Say something nice to Wawa! Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear! Oh, what a feast! Human emotions are simply delicious! Your sorrowful tears are like bottles of potent wine. This Sienjo sail through the cosmos? For a Heliobus that enjoys provoking your weak human sentiments, I can assure you there is nothing more amusing. Now, don't forget about our deal. I will leave only once I've got what I wanted. Of course. Surely you don't think I've left you just because you can see me. <laughs> so naive. Sirius talks nothing but nonsense. <sighs> but even so, Wahwa has a sensitive heart. You, go say something nice to the girl. Yes, which is why she needs other organic beings like you to support her. Get it? Go! Rome free? Is that what you call this? This is as far as I can get from her! You think I'd be here playing house with you numbskulls if I could fly away? making us fight. <laughs> Someone as nice as you wouldn't say such mean things. Only a possession would make you act like that. Still, what the Heliobus said was true. I've always been shy and scared. My life's been a nightmare ever since Tail possessed me. When I was at school, people were always asking why my tail was on fire. Everywhere I went, people would notice! Oh, so it's all my fault. If you just let me devour you at the start, I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belonged. But the job... the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day! I... 
I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been so useless. I... I'm glad it helped. You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And your paper dolls are useful, too. Oh, I've had enough of this! As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby, too! What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Fury Nox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the General of the Lafu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? The general who fought for the Law Fu against the Heliobus was named Tung Xiao. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the General. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the Creation Furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escape to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating! Sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then, Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! Uh, all the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then! <laughs> Hilarious! It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down, just like Ignamar did. Grudge? How shallow. If you must know the forces behind our actions, there's a pinch of envy. Envy towards the potent emotions you corporeal beings have. Then there's a dash of aggression. The desire to see whether the Heliobi or bodies of flesh and blood are stronger. Lastly, there's a drizzle of desire. We desire to possess your physical bodies, so we can eat, 
kill, love, and hate. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms. We were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. <sighs> I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself, Shearus. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Less screaming, more thinking! This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. I feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint, though. May the Arbiter protect us! The courtesies have been performed. Enter, O oh honored guest. Look! Uh, there's a mirror behind the door! Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That sound... Well, well, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Hua, are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shrey? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwenifen! I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Oh, are we above Fixtral Garden? Hmm... So many bronze mirrors... Could it be that... Uh, you're right, boy. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all! The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shrei! What? 
The real Madame Shiyi? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Huo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. But what if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. But... Whoa, whoa, sweetie. Come to Big Sister Shuo Yi. Ugh, yuck! That judge would never say something so... sickly. Let's go look at the next mirror. This is the exit, you useless brat! Come here! Gah! Madame Shiyi can be a bit of a meanie, but she'd never talk to me like that! That doesn't sound like her. Come to think of it, it kinda sounds like Tail! Constructive criticism! Hm. Let's go look at the other mirrors. The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shui Yi! What? The real Madame Shui Yi? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Huo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. <laughs> I can't tell the difference! You must trust yourself. Come. Hurry, Hua Hua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Likely through some secret means that I am unaware of. Uh, I didn't have any connections at all. Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. So we're gonna... Hurry, Hua Hua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Fair Hua Hua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shiyi behind the mirror! So we're gonna... Uh, mirrors again! What a surprise! Look, maybe these are the only mirrors left? Hurry, Hua Hua. This should be the last mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself first. She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not fit for her job at the Ten Lords Commission. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! An insignificant demon. I can't wait to devour him myself. Aha! Not even trying to hide your true colors! So, 
we're gonna... Come here, Koala. Come through the mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself first. Precaution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. Ha! <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! <laughs> You've given the game away. So, we're gonna... Come here, Huahua. Come through the mirror. Uh, I need to ask you some questions about myself first. As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Doesn't sound like Madame Shui, right? Stupid girl! This is obviously a fake. Her tale will be extracted and suppressed after the job is over. <laughs> you fraud! I'll deal with you once I get out. So where? I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! None of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid. But she never told me off. The Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. A tail? Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! What do you know? What are we even talking about? We need to focus! The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's got to be a fourth mirror somewhere. Huh? I think there's a mirror on that floating island, but it's a bit far away. Oh, could I crawl my way there? Quit stalling and get on with it! I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <gasps> Let's go! This is the right mirror! <sighs> Are we... back in Fixtral Garden? You've returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shrei, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. 
Thixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus, and the spirit farers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it? I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. I know you're trying to comfort me, but that sounded a little weird. You need to start filtering out the stuff you don't want to hear. That's what I do. The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster? Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress tail. I guess we're more like... friends? Friends? Ugh. I don't make friends with food! <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion, over there. Let's go. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus's glorious fight against the General. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together. But Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to infighting. Powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the General. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then, the Ten Lords' Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Fury Nox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Sien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? <sighs> Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Fury Nox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, 
I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They are powerful, but as naive as a child, and obsessed with victory. I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. Well, the general, why don't you fight me? <laughs> Serious? What makes you worth my time, weakling? I've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the Ten Lords my puppets. As soon as the general arrives, the Heliobi will have a rematch. Why should I fight my own at this crucial moment? That group of amateurs you put together? Ha! They're nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember! What a wonderful host! I want it! Then send the spirit fairs under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you in your fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy! See? Easy peasy. Does that mean all the spirit fairs out there have fallen? What a useless army! Does that mean we'll be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobi think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Make the decision. Furinox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. You two, take this before we fight Furinox. This is the Lunambra Gourd, a sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also, her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Furinox's control. <sighs> Mr. Chael. We're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength, too! Oh, sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough! I would've believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. Don't point that out! It took me a lot of effort to be this brave! All this time I've just been hiding behind Mr. Trailblazer! I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Shrei said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Quahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I too am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Shrei, you're afraid too? 
Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will, of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Let's go! I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Fury Nox. And before that foolish Helio bus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunamber Gord. So we'll need to activate the Evil Binding Matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the Evil Binding Matrix at its Matrix core. Okay. is so powerful, why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily? The stronger you are, the more you underestimate your enemies. Sometimes being weak and humble is the way to survive. Those are possessed wreath wardens! Don't expect me to hold back. To talking tough! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Here, in thunder. Head? Protect me, protect me! Lance! Forward! Defeated all the spirit fairs controlled by Furinox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well! We've sealed most of Furinox's fragments! Now, we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunambra Gord into the Evil Binding Matrix. Once Furinox's power has been stripped, it will no longer be able to influence reality in Fixtral Garden. This gourd is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Gwynaifen, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. 
This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. <laughs> Get her away from her! you I'd leave your body, little pawn. Excellent. I will keep my promise. Troublesome. Is everyone okay? They've consumed too many Heliobi. We die from exhaustion before we manage to weaken it. We've still got a chance, puppet. Sarah said it themselves. There's a fragile balance when Heliobi fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Huahua? gonna be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone. <laughs> These pawns are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? Get yourself together! Uh, 
swallowing me too, huh? Are you insane? Why are you helping humans? Why? You need a reason? How about this one? I'd rather help a human than a conniving simpleton like you. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! Talisman! from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! <laughs> Show no mercy. There's no time to lose. Here, it's thunder! Don't mess with me. I'll into misery. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Follow my charge. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Show no mercy. A mere pawn. Who's next? Time to suffer. Suppress. <sighs> what a headache. Yeah. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in me! I'm on guard. We are come by the temple. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. It's not. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how Hua Hua is doing. I should check up on her. The one possessing Hua Hua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind. I have never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon, and Gwenaifin will be sent to an apothecary. It is only an artificial Ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She is coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on. They even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. As Starfire Essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being, but they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The San Joe will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. Just don't even think about sealing me in the matrix! Oh, you wretched fools! Tail! The judges! You! 
One day... <laughs> One day sooner or later, I'll tear you all to pieces! I'll crunch your bones to dust, sap every drop of your strength, and spit you out into the dirt where you belong! Already forgetting me? Your human tongues are no less poisonous than ours. Kid? As a spirit fair, he's already experienced more than you could in a lifetime. For as long as I'm sealed in the Matrix, I will inhabit this body. The judges can stick as many talismans and pour as much enchanted water on this flesh as they'd like. I don't care. As long as they want to save their own, I still have a bargaining chip. There are many, little pawn. I will exist forever. I have lived for countless years. I existed before the Alliance was even an idea. And once the Alliance has turned to dust, I will continue to exist for countless more Amber Eras. I can wait. I'll wait for humans to let their guard down. I'll wait till the Matrix drawn over fictional garden collapses. Time and opportunity will always be on my side. We will meet again. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the Creation Furnace was destroyed. There are more of us than the mere few in Fixtral Garden. Where are they now? Hmm. And what will they do to the Lofu? I look forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. Judge, am I? If I were stronger, Mr. Tail wouldn't have had to sacrifice himself. It was because of him that I ended up in this terrible job. And I thought so much about how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so... empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long, but now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! Wait... You're right. Madam Shrei said that Heliobi are eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail, he... he must still be out there somewhere! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job. Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenyphon's friend, Miss Sushong. I can't leave my post, so, uh... Could you let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. Little Gwei kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the apothecary. Can you tell me more? Thanks for telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too. And maybe little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. <sighs> oh, you don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later.
<laughs> Not bad. to catch Helio by on the run. Reliable squad member, too. Sure, when you're not passed out in fear. <laughs> Cut it out. If you keep teasing me, I. I. I'm not gonna perform my boulder smashing trick for you anymore. <sighs> the official name is the Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Helio by Containment Breach Incident. That was the name given to us by decree of the Ten Lords. Since we managed to survive the Fixtral Garden incident, the Ten Lords decided to entrust us with hunting down and subduing the Heliobi using our special skills. That's right. This expedition was commissioned by the Ten Lords themselves. I am unsure as to why they attached so much importance to this endeavor. But I have a theory. Hua is a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and I am a Cloud Knight. We must answer the call to the best of our abilities. And this one here is an Outworlder who's done great things for the sake of the Sienjo. But why did Little Gwei have to get dragged into this? This mission is too dangerous for a civilian. Ugh, I get it. You don't think I have any special skills. So I'll just get in the way? Every flower and tree on the Xianzhou is significant in its own way. Miss Gui has her own strengths, too. As a famous street performer and live streamer, she has precisely the skills we need to acquire intel for our mission. Miss Gui has set up a social media account under the guise of investigating paranormal phenomena and unexplained mysteries. We can use it to gather intel for our mission. You hear that, Su Zhong? I'm a key member of the squad! They said I could be a Ten Lords Commission intelligence hawk! Uh, I might not be a scholar, but I don't think calling someone a hawk is a compliment. The Ten Lords Commission has specially entrusted Judge Huo Huo with commanding the Ghost Hunting Squad. So please make sure to follow her lead in all matters related to the Helio Bai. Uh, that's right! I won't let us down! Captain Huo Huo, should we start the Ghost Hunt now? Uh, Captain? You can just call me Hua Hua. Actually, I'm not sure if I can be helpful anymore. After Tail disappeared, I thought for sure the Commission would ask me to resign. But for some reason, Madame Hanya asked me to be the leader of the Ghost Hunting Squad. Um, Anyway, I'll do my best to carry out my duties. As for our mission, Cirrus was locked up in Fixtral Garden, but there are a lot of other Heliobi that escaped after the Creation Furnace was broken. According to the Ten Lords Commission understanding of Heliobi behavior, they tend to roam densely populated areas in search of hosts. And wherever they go, there are bound to be reports of supernatural phenomena. Little Gwei, 
Can you show us the website we'll be using for Intel? So I only have a few followers on this site. But, based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes, a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So, we still have to go out and fact check the leads? Hmm? Plus, the spirit bearers from the Ten Lords Commission will be carrying out their own investigation in secret as well. Speaking of attracting attention, how do we get a following on a paranormal activity website? Sounds like little Gui's department. She used me and some of her performances just to draw a bigger crowd. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the easy part. We just post some videos of us ghost hunting, er, uh, I mean, subduing Heliobi. We're working for the Ten Lords Commission after all. We're gonna have the best content out there. Wait, aren't we supposed to be operating in secret? Well, another thing we have to think about is that Heliobi feed on the emotions of their hosts. They can even manipulate a host into revealing their deepest secrets. Wouldn't posting a victim's personal information online uh, uh, cause even more harm to the victim? Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to pick holes, just raising some concerns. The way I see it? Operating in secret and exposing the paranormal go hand in hand. We won't reveal the names of any victims. We'll just post some pics and videos of the squad engaging in fierce battles with the supernatural. And then come up with some dramatic titles. Like, Little Gray Investigates. Ghost tries to scare young Cloud Knight Girl on Creepy Road. Gets owned. You know? We'll turn the entire Heliobi hunting process into regular uploads. Viewers will see that there's nothing scary about it, and there won't be any public panic. Why are you looking at me? Want a medal or something? It does kind of sound like a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, bestie. Mm, I feel like some of you aren't convinced by the whole online ghost hunting thing. How about this? We take a look at the leads we have so far and pick one to try out as a test run. Take a look. This post is getting tons of comments. Lady Bailu disappeared? That's nothing new. She sneaks off all the time. That's not the point. Here, read this part. One of the healers from the Alchemy Commission had Lady Bailu cornered. But then she disappeared into thin air. Judging from the comments, there were several witnesses. Sure, Lady Bailu runs away all the time. But disappearing into thin air? Hmm, it looks like the work of a Heliobus. 
The Heliobi are masters of manipulating the senses. There are stories of Heliobi changing their shape and appearance to disguise themselves as someone else. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get moving and see if we can find some witnesses. Before we head out, let's make sure we have our intel in order. If we can better understand what a Heliobus wants to do, and what it's capable of doing, it'll be easier for us to help the victim. Interviewing witnesses might give us some clues, but they won't know anything about Heliobi. I, uh, I think I have an idea. We have another source of intel we could use. I heard from Miss Hanya that Cirrus is caught in a stalemate. The evil binding matrix has trapped them. Will they really cooperate with us? <sighs> the thought of seeing Cirrus sends shivers down my spine. But, uh, I bet Cirrus would be eager to see me again. <laughs> They'd devour me whole if they could. Uh, I think Tail made a fool of Cirrus, and Cirrus has held a grudge ever since. If we can get them worked up over it, we might be able to use them to our advantage! Since when did Fixtral Garden become so... Oh, this tedium. Even the insects can't hold my attention any longer. I wonder if these ones will prove to be more entertaining. Cirrus, we've come to ask you a few questions. I hope you'll be cooperative. <laughs> oh, if it isn't the little girl who fainted in Fixtral Garden the moment she encountered the Heliobi. Already talking to me like a detective, are you? Hey, where's my sword? You just wait! <laughs> there are plenty of beings in this garden that would like to kill me. Hmm. Why don't you line up one by one, and take turns trying? Don't be ridiculous! We can't allow the host to be harmed! Cirrus, you must be unhappy with how things turned out, right? What do you want from me, little fox girl? You want to know what happened to the guard dog? He turned to ashes a long time ago. I... I don't care about that at all. But I can't help but notice, you managed to escape the furnace, and now you're stuck here, unable to move an inch while the other Heliobi are roaming around the Lafu enjoying themselves. Ooh, must be quite frustrating. <laughs> you want me to assist you and betray my own kind? can do that. Under one condition. I wish to arrange a challenge. One akin to the struggle between the great Heliobus Ignamar and the General of the Lafu. As long as you can bring me the current General, anything can be negotiated. Uh, the General? What? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> it seems the judge here doesn't have what it takes to negotiate with a Heliobus. 
That's just another way of saying they don't want to cooperate. Huh? Wait! Wawa! You can't seriously be thinking about... Deal! I'll submit a request to the Seat of Divine Foresight! Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. What is your purpose for entering the Seed of Divine Foresight? Oh? What do we have here? A Nameless, a Cloud Knight, a Judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and a Street Performer. <laughs> Quite the group. Wow! The general recognizes me? I didn't realize I was so famous. <laughs> My retainer Yang Ching has mentioned you. You are one of the only people on the Law Fu that was able to deprive him of his sword. Oh! Oh, I remember. I should apologize. I did a sword-swallowing performance on the spur of the moment, but forgot to return the sword to him when I left the stage. So, what wind has brought you to the Seat of Divine Foresight? General, we know you have important matters to attend to, and the Ten Lords Commission shouldn't be bothering you with something as trivial as the Heliobi. But if we allow those creatures to roam freely, I'm afraid... Hmm. I heard stories of a skirmish between a previous general and a monster of sorts. I'd always assumed they were an old wives' tale. I never imagined the villain of such tales would come to my doorstep seeking revenge. <sighs> I must say, it seems a bit unfair that I should assume the debt for a conflict I had no involvement in. <laughs> it would appear you are eager to see me assume the debt. <laughs> General Tung Xiao is a venerated predecessor. If I am to honor his legacy, then sitting idly by is not an option. If an audience with the General of the Law Fu is requested, then I will honor such a request. General, Heliobi are vile creatures capable of taking over the bodies of mortals. If you're unsure... I appreciate the Ten Lords Commission having such high regard for my welfare. And it's true I am rather inexperienced when it comes to Heliobi. But as General of the Law Fu, I cannot look on while these fugitive creatures wreak havoc on the populace. <sighs> I still have some paperwork that needs attending to. Once I am finished, I will make my way to Fixtral Garden without delay. I've never seen this one before. Human, who are you? Heliobus, is it not your deepest wish to hold a rematch with the General of the Law Fu? I have come to grant you an audience. Sirius, we have brought you the person you wish to see. This is General Ching Yuan, the one who now sits at the seat of divine foresight. Oh, this is the current general of the Lafu. Look at that expression! He's barely half awake! Where is General Tung Xiao? Why 
did he choose such a lightweight to take over for him? Uh, I suppose it's already too late for the Sien Joe to rid themselves of this clown. Very well then, General Jing Yuan. How about we settle our score right here in Fixture Garden? If I win, I must be free to come and go as I please. I agreed to grant you an audience, not meet you in combat. Huh? What? You refuse? You won't fight me? He comes here after I demand a rematch and won't even fight. Is he conceding that I already won? No, there can be no victory in this doing combat. Human logic negates it. You misunderstand. I came for a rematch. It's just that you are not a worthy opponent. <gasps> what? Unworthy? Tong Xiao, as general of the Law Fu, was commander in chief of the Cloud Knights. Ignamar commanded the Helio Bai. The two were as great as the sky and the earth. Equally matched, like Yin and Yang. It is only natural that they were worthy opponents. As it stands, I am the General of the Law Fu. But you are no Ignamar. Merely a prisoner. If you wish to engage me in battle, you must follow my rules. Defeat my army. Only then will I grant you the fight you seek. Your... army? <laughs> That's right. You must defeat my four companions gathered here. Then... you will have proved yourself a worthy opponent. Wait! He means us? We'll be okay, right? That's right. For us, any problem that can be solved by force isn't a problem at all. <laughs> so I only need to beat your pawns here. <laughs> it would serve you well not to underestimate them. They are as skilled in combat as they are tenacious in spirit. I worry they might pose a problem for you. If you win, you can have your rematch. If you lose, you will answer one question of their choice. No lies, no tricks. Can you accept these terms? Mm. It's a deal. The game is set. This platform will be our chessboard, and the fighters will be the pieces! humiliate me with lowly pawns. No matter then, I have my pawns to play. Heed my command! Receive my power! Now you will experience the might of the Helio Bide! Give it up. Recount. I'm on guard.
your wallet? Lamps ablaze. Lamp! Forward! It's time. Want to see what I can do? Ten Lords. The Ten Lords decree, hereby ordained. I'm on guard. Give it up. I shall be the judge. You're not going anywhere! Turn out your pockets! Want to see what I can do? This is serious. You've lost, serious. Ugh, don't get complacent. If I had all of Ignamar's power, I'd never have lost to the likes of you. Should you decide to try again, my offer still stands. But you must defeat them. Then <laughs> what are we waiting for? Uh, not so fast! Before we fight again, you need to answer one question like you promised. Oof, pesky devil of a girl. Alright. What's your question? Uh, look! Is this something a Heliobus could have done? There are countless Heliobi that escaped from the Creation Furnace. And every one of them could have done such a thing. It could have been vengeance, curiosity, or simply hunger. So how would I know which one abducted your Dragon Lady? Of course, I do have my suspicions. For example, Luxy. Disbelieve it if you like. That's up to you. Unlike humans, I get no joy from telling lies. Luxy loves mischief. They give no thought to interfering in mortal affairs. Their only concerns are entertainment and freedom. Among all the fragments of Ignamar, <laughs> the one most likely to abduct your precious dragon lady would be Luxie. We were sailed away for a thousand years. It's been ages since we last tasted the joys and sorrows of the world of humans. I'm sure Luxy was eager to find a new friend and wander the world with them. Hmm, I think they're telling the truth. Heliobi do have different personalities, and they can be influenced by the personality of their host. If a Heliobus possesses a great warrior, they might gradually take on a braver, fiercer persona. 
And if their host is a playful child, they may adopt a childlike spirit. Hmm. Wander the world with them. It sounds like Lady Bailu would have been an ideal target. She's always running off to play in Arm Alley. Mm-hmm. This entail should be a big help. Hey! We're not done here! You still owe me a fight! You bunch of meatbags! One minor victory and you think you're something special? Come on! Show me what you've got! The clues are all pointing in the same direction now. It would be wise to strike while the iron is hot. Thank you for your help, General. Let's get going. I haven't been here in a while. It's nice to be back in the old stomping ground. Oh yeah? Since you're so familiar with the place, you can lead the way and conduct the interviews. Did I hear something from the peanut gallery? Look! Those two are wearing alchemy commission uniforms. They're probably looking for the dragon lady. Lady Bailu disappeared into thin air. They must be pretty confused. Remember, we have to keep our identity secret when we interview them. And don't mention anything about the Heliobi. People might start panicking. Don't worry, Judge Wawa. Effective communication with the public is one of the basic skills of a Cloud Knight. Hello there. Judging by your clothing, you two must be healers from the Alchemy Commission. My name is Sushong. I'm a Cloud Knight soldier. Are you looking for the Dragon Lady who suddenly disappeared? Uh, even the Cloud Knights are getting involved? Did you file a report or something? Report? I haven't said a word to the Realm Keeping Commission, let alone the Cloud Knights. People would think we were crazy if we reported this. There's something fishy going on. How did the Cloud Knights find out? Uh, 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 good question. So, actually, we're affiliated with the 10th... Tenth... The 10th tenth Squad! Cloud Knight Security Squad 10, to be precise! <laughs> we patrol the streets and respond to all kinds of unexpected incidents! It's grunt work, essentially. Oh, I can relate. We're no stranger to grunt work ourselves. Anyway, we heard about the Dragon Lady's disappearance, so we hurried over to see if we could help. Oh, we know this Outworlder here. He's from the Astral Express. I've heard the Dragon Lady mention him before. Well, it's great that you're all willing to help, but we haven't actually figured out what exactly is going on. Uh, yeah. Just when we had her cornered, the Dragon Lady disappeared with the bang. And while we were chasing her, we saw two of her. It really is a mystery. That's what I was just saying. But can Cloud Him Magic really do that? It sure can. This Foxian beside me? Well, she's actually the Sienjo's top expert on intangible cultural heritage. She's super knowledgeable about Cloud Him Magic. Huahua, could you share some expert insight with us? Huh? Um, oh, ah, ah, yes! I, I'm a very professional expert, and I'd be happy to share my, uh, expert knowledge. In fact, Cloud Him Magic isn't the only magic out there that can achieve such feats. Uh, we Foxians can use our fox fire to make ourselves invisible! So where did you last see Lady Bailu? On that road there. And I swear I can hear a child giggling whenever I walk by. Must be the wind. Be sure to get some rest. We'll take over from here. Lady Bailu must have seen you and gone off to hide. But with her old friend here, 
Maybe she'll be willing to come back out. Fantastic. Well, we'll leave you to it. Lady Bailu! Lady Bailu, where are you? Lady Bailu, come out and play with us! Why are there two of her? <laughs> They're asking us to play with them! <laughs> Silly head! They're trying to trick you! They're just gonna catch you and take you back! Ooh, I know! Let's play a game called Don't Let Anyone Catch Us! <laughs> was one thing, but your screaming nearly sent me to the grave! Uh, sorry, but seriously, I knew it was a Heliobus, but seeing double Bailu like that sent shivers down my spine! It's okay, Miss Sushong. I've worked in the Ten Lords Commission for many years now, but I'm still not used to their tricks. Hmm, they're eluding our senses, but they won't have gone far. Uh, we just need to look around. I can hear laughter, but where's it coming from? Oh, no, I'm starting to get the heebie jeebies. You can say that again. It seems to be coming from this room. <sighs> I'll open the door and take a look. Everyone, stay on high alert. Huh? It won't open. Strange. Is this also the work of the Heliobus? Hmm. They must know that we're following. And now that we know it's hiding spot, it's time to use this. This is the Harmonic Chime. It's an item that the Ten Lords Commission forged to help deal with the Heliobi after the Fictional Garden incident. Heliobi create illusions to isolate their victims. But if we ring this chime, our thought waves will synchronize with those of the Heliobus. As for how it works, uh, I'm afraid that would take the rest of the day to explain. In other words, we'll be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion? Exactly! Well, but once we're inside the illusion, we'll still have to figure out a way to catch Luxie. You're the 
powerhouse of this team? We'll leave the door to you. Mm. Please be careful. When you're ready, ring the chime. We'll all charge in together! I never thought this would be behind the door. Remember, it's just a Heliobus illusion. She doesn't want to let anyone take her away. Luxie, they came here looking for me. It's starting to get dark. Mm, maybe it's time for me to go back now? Ah, Lulu. Didn't we say before that we wouldn't let any grown-ups find us? And never let them take us home. Why? Why did you change your mind? Hmm... You're right. Grown-ups break their promises, but we don't. <laughs> That's right. Remember, if you ever get hungry, I can conjure up anything you like. Berry pheasant skewers, star taro bubble tea, you name it. We have it right here. Okay. Pick some right now! Not yet. Why don't we play a game first? You bad guys over there, okay? You're gonna be in the game too! Lulu, let's make a run for it! If we escape from them, I'll conjure up all of your favorite snacks and drinks! Wow! Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! We're free from the grown-ups! We can play all day! Every day! Wait, stop! I just want to play a little longer! What's so bad about that? Why do I have to live the way grown-ups do? Grown-ups are always saying, study now and have fun later! But the grown-ups I see at the Alchemy Commission? Never have time for fun! Uh, stop chasing us! Can't you just let me have some fun? That door over there is the only way out. We'd better close it. They sure know how to run! Uh, that's uh, the power of a uh, Heliobus! Catch your breath uh, before you pass out. Let's, uh, let's try a new strategy. I don't think we can beat them like this. We need to use our heads. Su <sighs> Chung's... Who gonna use her head? <laughs> now we're really done for. Ah, we can't hunt the dragon lady like a wild beast! Wait! I have an idea. How about we use a little reverse psychology? Instead of chasing Lady Bailu, we get her to come to us! Are you serious? Does that little dragon girl look like she's gonna come running over to us? Chasing Bailu around like this reminds me of something I saw back home when I was a child. On my home planet, resources were scarce. And if you wanted to eat meat, you had to risk your life by going deep into the mines to hunt an animal called a sky mink. 
fly minks fly so nimbly and are so alert that even the quickest of hands will have a hard time catching them. Gather round, children. Ugh, don't interrupt. Hear me out. The sky mink's ecology is unique. It lives in symbiosis with a venomous creature called a shrieking lizard. When a sky mink goes out to feed, it lets the lizard protect its young. So we used to go to sky mink nests to catch shrieking lizards instead. When a shrieking lizard gets caught, it calls to the sky mink with a loud shriek to warn it to return to the nest and protect its young, which of course led the sky mink right to us. Well, the competition for survival went two ways. Shrieking lizards spew out a potent venom, and failure to take proper precautions cost many a hunter their life. Nice story, but what's it got to do with chasing Lady Bailu? Ugh, isn't it obvious? If we catch one Bailu, the other will come running to us. I remember one of the judges had a precious item called a Lunambra Gourd, which could absorb and imprison Heliobi. Come to think of it, I think that's the thing I smashed. I wonder if they fixed it. Actually, I have one with me, but it's only effective when the Heliobus is close by. Nice! In that case, you can take the gourd and camp out in a corner. The rest of us will chase Lady Bailu back over here. If we catch Lady Bailu, will Luxy really follow her into our trap? Do Heliobi really have a sense of loyalty to their victims? Who knows? Cirrus said that Luxy is kind of childlike. It's worth a try.
Bai Wu, please calm down. You're not yourself right now. You're being influenced by a Yuyu bus. You're lying! I never had playmates. Today I finally found one, and you guys are trying to take them away! Huh? Grown ups are so mean! As soon as they see children having fun, they want to ruin it! <sighs> sure enough, they walked right into our trap. <laughs> I was considering letting you join the club and have fun with us. But since you're so determined to spoil everything, I'm afraid we'll have to settle our differences through violence. Yes, violence. The only language you grown-ups know how to speak, right? The one you use when you're telling us off! I can do about it. Playtime can't go on forever. But we still had lots of fun. <laughs> Let's play again next time. There won't be a next time. Wawa, you know what to do. Luxy, how long before the next time we can play together? We both have many years ahead of us. So, in that sense, it won't be long at all. But for now, I have to leave with these grown-ups. All right, all right. Lady Bailu, it's getting late. You need to go home now. I... Oh, everything's so fuzzy. Uh, did I do something bad? No need to feel bad, Lady Bailu. You were in a dream world. None of it was your fault. But... but... I made everyone chase after me for so long. I... I shouldn't have done that. It's only natural to want to escape when strict rules are being forced on you. I know there are a lot of grown-ups trying to control you, telling you what you can and can't do. They're the ones to blame. I was ready to apologize to everyone, but now you made me forget what I wanted to say. Apologize for what? You know, you and me have a lot in common. I'm almost a grown-up now. But I still miss my childhood days and running about barefoot. My big brother used to boss me around. He'd give me chores, constantly telling me to grow up, that kind of thing. Then one day, I decided to rebel. I ran away to prove that I could get by without my family and eventually settled on the Sienjo. 
Whether it's a dragon lady like you or an ordinary person like me, I feel like many people's lives follow a similar trajectory. One day, you'll have the strength to leave your current situation and move on to the next phase. In the meantime, I suggest you try and cherish the good rather than apologize for the bad. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want everyone to feel too sorry for me. <gasps> hey, did you ever think about joining the Alchemy Commission as a psychotherapist? <laughs> Jeez, and there I was pouring my heart out. Now I feel like this kid's lived longer than I have. Um, uh, can we not linger around here too long? This place is really spooky. Uh, maybe we can chat somewhere else. Truth be told, Luxy didn't seem as evil as the other Heliobi we've seen. They sure made us run, though. If I ever have to run like that again on the job, I'm filing for workers' comp. Heliobi don't really fall under good or evil. They just act according to their desires and emotions. I hope the others will be just as easy to subdue. I should go surrender myself to those two medics. They were looking so hard to find me. Wait! Huh? Uh, what is it? We're going to make a post about this paranormal incident online to attract more followers. It'll help us get more intel. Oh, I get it. You can't just tell the public that the dragon lady was possessed by a Heliobus, right? So... Uh... We won't mention my name, right? And we'll make up a headline? That's right! We want to report this incident like it's a paranormal phenomenon. The more exaggerated, the better. And then announce that it was solved by our ghost hunting squad! Then we add on a few photos and videos. It'll be sure to get lots of views. Um, that's great and all, but I'm not good at making stuff up on the spot. I heard that you helped Mr. CN write stories before. You must be an expert wordsmith. It's all a team effort. Come on, help me think of something. Sounds good. Let's have a think about it. I say that's a good title. What does everyone think? Alrighty then, it's decided. You should go back soon, Lady Bailu. Those two medics have had a rough day. Okay, I'm going back now. Thanks for the rescue. <laughs> Case closed. I never knew catching Heliobi would require so much work. We're not done yet. Madam Hanya said that once we've subdued a Heliobus, we should return to Fictional Garden and lock them inside the evil binding matrix's suppression towers. It's over. 
now I can finally get some rest. But there are still lots of Heliobi roaming around out there. Oh, we can't rest for too long. I couldn't agree more. I'd rather focus on resting first. I need to wait for my heart rate to recover before I go chasing another Heliobuzz.
peaceful spot. your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. So you are afraid.
with today's operations. The Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Heliobus Containment Breach Incident, aka the Ghost Hunting Squad, is ready for action! Yeah! Yeah... Huh? I don't think that was included in the job posting. Actually, I don't think there ever was a job posting. I'm sleepy. Oh, little Gwei, what kind of magical elixir did you take to make you so energetic? Every time I see our follower count increase, I get so excited I can't even sleep. It works better than any kind of tea or coffee. Well, aren't you lucky? As soon as I closed my eyes, I dreamt of endless running and circling and chasing after Lady Bailu. It was even more exhausting than doing it in real life. Sushong, you slept for an entire day. Catching ghosts is a night job. It only makes sense to sleep during the day. <laughs> yeah, I have an idea. How about we all just pretend that I've been possessed by a sleep ghost, let me sleep for another 10 hours, and then call it a day's work? A certain celestial jade-playing divination commission employee, perhaps? Divination commission? Celestial jade? Shouldn't they be doing divinations? It's this girl! Here, look at this post! Hi! Take my job seriously! I never post something like, late as usual, on a public forum! Miss Sushang, uh, I think you missed the interesting part. The description in this comment is really suspicious. It definitely sounds like Heliobi activity to me. And if Heliobi have managed to infiltrate the Divination Commission, that spells big trouble for the Lafu. You're right. Maybe we should contact Miss Chingchue and warn her not to go to work today. That's a good idea. We should send out a message, or people's curiosity will get the better of them.
Notification... sent. I guess now we should go to the Divination Commission and see what's going on. Hmm. But let's talk to Sirius again first. Huh? When did Fix Storm Garden be? So, you imprison Luxie in the Matrix. And I heard the cries of other Heliobi longing to break free. Hmm. That would seem the Ten Lords Commission has everything under control. What is it you want from me? One victory equals one question. Uh, uh, don't forget the agreement you made with the General. Don't be so sure of victory before the battle begins, young one. Without tail to protect you, isn't so doing a Heliobus a bit... overwhelming for you? You know, if you can accept me with an open heart, I can take his place and help you. <laughs> really? That's what I wanted to hear. Oh? The fact that you're trying so hard to persuade me means that you're not sure of victory either. If you were, you'd have devoured us without hesitation. Am I right, Cirrus? Then have it your way. I'll destroy Ching Yuan's pawns here and now! Your previous victory go to your heads! The slightest misstep will be your undoing! Disappear among the sea of Let's see how you perform the general here to watch your back! I will never rest! Your mortal bodies will fatigue and breathe their last breath! Then I will endure! So devils, I'll crush them all. Is that it? Get them. Uh, uh, who's next? <sighs> we did it. <sighs> Ask your question. We think the Divination Commission has been infiltrated by Heliobus, but we don't know which one. Entering the Xianzhou's window to the future, it must be none other than... Kiraloom. They always relished hounding your prophets and seers with questions of destiny, watching them flounder between the random and the preordained. <laughs> that pile of protein in your human skull is computationally inefficient. Your conjectures on destiny are little more than analogies and illusions. But we, the shapeless, are different. When we come together to harmonize and observe, destiny is clear and vivid as firelight cast into darkness. Ugh, in warfare, nothing is more important than being able to predict your opponent's movements. Among the fragments of Ignamar, Keralum was in charge of knowing the past and predicting the future. It is said that during that fateful battle, Heirloom had a premonition of failure, but Ignamar ignored their warnings. It looks like we have a clear target this time. Let's get going. 
I may not have the same predictive power as Caroloom, little fox girl. But one thing I do know is that sooner or later you will beg for my help. Huh. Time will tell. You're here. Is that a Ten Lords Commission judge? Something's amiss in the Divination Commission. Everyone is mumbling to themselves. Is this some workforce overhaul? Did I set a bad example? Uh, I'm afraid not, Miss Jingtre. Something unexpected happened. I'm just not sure how to explain it. Well, anyway, there's a dangerous situation at the Divination Commission at the moment. So just don't go in there. Good idea. With working conditions like these, I wouldn't be able to concentrate anyway. I heard from Alway that the Artisanship Commission is also experiencing strange phenomena. Several of the apprentices have started babbling nonsensically. It's kind of scary. Of course, it could just be a side effect of being denied graduation. In that case, Miss Jingtre, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances, does it? I mean, you could leave, but... Oh, wait, are you thinking of coming with us? Didn't you see how bad the situation was? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, all right. But if I leave now, won't that count as an authorized absence? I can get away with slacking off, but the Master Diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, you guys need someone familiar with the Divination Commission to show you the way, right? Then let's go. What's going on? Stay close to me, okay? I'm, uh, I'm a little scared. What are they looking at? Is everyone okay? There's only one way. Divination is meaningless. How did the Matrix of Prescience become like this? Look, Diviner Fu is standing at the center of the Matrix of Prescience. What is she doing? Judging by her chanting, I think she's performing navigation calculations. Or divining. But something's not right. The Matrix of Prescience isn't moving at all. A Heliobus! Is that the danger you were talking about? I read about them in a book. Starfire essence that can transform itself enjoys manipulating the dreams and desires of mortals. You mean the Master Diviner is being controlled by something like that? How can we snap her out of it? Uh, we could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. Idle chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Master Diviner, you're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom. It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, or a guest from the Astral Express! Ching Chue! I have grown weary of your insubordination! Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the Commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? 
Ching Chui. You are hereby expelled from the commission. I... Th that's... Darn, now we're down one person. A great idea! <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. Loafing around outside and playing Celestial Jade. All while taking a Divination Commission salary. It's... How to put it? Sure sounds like it. I could only dream of having a cozy job like that. I would call it... Wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the Commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. What next? What do we do now? <laughs> Giving a dramatic speech to my boss was cool and everything, but it's not gonna help her break free from the Heliobus cloud in her mind. I'm not sure what to do. The Heliobus isn't trying to trap us inside the illusion, and it doesn't look interested in attacking us either. Clouding my mind? I've never been of clearer mind than I am right now. From now on, I will dedicate myself to defining the predetermined futures of the C and Joe Alliance, and will make these futures known to the world so that all can live in clarity. I know what you want to say. Spare me the lecture on human wisdom prevailing over nature and those ridiculous notions of free will. These are but crude illusions created by the brain. From the beginning, there was only one path. You... You are nothing more than a pawn at the mercy of the Stellaron Hunters. What day you boarded the Express, who your enemies are, where you go... These choices that you think you make freely of your own accord are mere tributaries. That will eventually converge on the path of destiny. Your journey to the Sienjo, the defeat of Fantilia. All these were written into a script long ago by that slave to destiny, hidden in the shadows. Even in this very moment, your options are few. Ready your bat and charge at me. Argue with me loudly and futilely, or fall into silence. <sighs> Don't let her words get to you. There are always other options. Come back to me when you've thought it through. Such trivial choices cannot change the inevitable. If you are still not convinced, I can demonstrate to you the true nature of destiny in a way that your human brain can comprehend. Then follow me. This place is what the Divination Commission calls the Pathfinder. It's a sandbox game that diviners use to simulate future paths and exercise our minds. But why did the Master Diviner bring us here? That's right. Now listen. If you place an Ingenium in this little maze and give it a command, it will find its way to the exit precisely as it was commanded to do so. Are humans not the same as they navigate the path of destiny set before them? But you're probably thinking, humans are not machines. There is more than one path in the universe. 
And yet, machines we are. Complex, sophisticated, but machines. We are just like the Ingenium in this maze. We have no options to speak of. We can only navigate one path. The one that takes us to our destination. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. It feels like we're dancing to the Heliobus's tune. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. Well done! Your choices are as the Omniscia foresaw them. You should know that there was only one answer to this puzzle from the beginning, just as destiny has only one path. Yes, for a puzzle that was designed from the start, choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game, and no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. The universe doesn't have a single answer. We can do anything we want while we're in it. Even if it's the same work every day, I can hide in the library and read a book, or find someone to play Celestial Jade with. And that's freedom. I never thought slacking off could convince me of anything. A sign of a true scholar. A diviner of the Divination Commission, after all. Ugh. Sushong! Snap out of it! A slacker Heliobus is getting into your head! <sighs> ching chue, ching chue. For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because your choices are simply different ways of slacking off and wasting time. They are of no consequence to anything. But for me, choices come with very real consequences. That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. As the master diviner of the La Fu, I have a heavy responsibility. I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. Some paths look promising, but lead to an abyss of despair. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. And in the end... I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow, only one way to the optimal solution, even if it is paved with ashes and bitterness. There is only one way, and there only ever was. What do we do? I don't think we can persuade her. I have a proposal. Why don't we try a more advanced sandbox? However long you want to play this game, and whatever tricks you try to pull, I'll happily play along. <gasps> Miss Ching Tre! Use your free will to guide the Ingenium out of the sandbox. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you.
That wasn't... The path changed slightly, but it was just as simple. I'm sure the Master Diviner would say... Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master Diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go, shall we? Again? Do it all over again exactly as it was? You can try it a million times over, and a million times over it is doomed to the same fate, because there is only one path. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chue. You're an interesting one. Ching Chue? I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. There really is only one solution. This maze was designed by Caroloom. It's no use. There aren't any other solutions. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. No, there's a second choice. There will always be another choice. Mr. Trailblazer, quick, say something to persuade her. Ready to begin? Of course there's another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. You're all gonna help, right? Miss Chingtra, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to the end. Count me in. I'm sure Miss Chingtra has something up her sleeve. If we can help, I'm in. I only need two people for my plan to work. You go stand in the sandbox. Right about that spot over there. Next, Judge Ho Ho. You stand on the other side of the room. And stop shaking. All right, we're ready. And now, the second path appears. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices Destiny gives you. This is the other solution. The alternative choice. I created a new solution. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. <laughs> you think that by calling on your companions for help, you created a new path out of thin air? You're just playing with semantics. I could weave a thousand routes for you, but they lead to the same destination. So what significance is there in having a choice? Creatures like you don't understand humans. The universe is like jade tiles on a game table. When the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. Which tiles can be played? Which tiles are left over? What kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make? All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Randomness and adaptability. Ambushing your opponent. Twists and turns. The balance of the elements. 
It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And those are the same things that give life its color and vibrance. Do my choices at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No! The choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers, our Master Diviner is making endless choices, fighting against the odds just so the Lawful can travel safely for another day. <laughs> In my book, she's the best player there is. Why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? Heliobus, you cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. And you want everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you. You don't understand humans at all. Don't let them trick you, Fu Xuan! Don't push me away! Don't let her words fool you! Kiriloom, release the Master Diviner! I see through your trickery! I see through every bit of it! I'm going to lose! Victory is beyond my reach! Why? Why is there no alternative? Everything in this universe is predetermined. No, I... I had no path to victory. Don't mess with me. That paradise made savor it for me. <laughs> Time. Show no mercy. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder! What a headache. Your devils! I'll crush them all! I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! Master Diviner! Are you alright? Uh, I... I'm fine. Just a small headache, nothing more. It's normal to experience some discomfort after being possessed by a Heliobus. But nothing a few medicinal pellets can't take care of. Uh, is that... Caroloom? <laughs> they may not be the most powerful fragment, but becoming entangled in their illusion can lead to endless despair. Hurry! Just hurry up and... see me in the darkness. I've foreseen what happens next. You're going to imprison me. Jingjue. Thanks to you, the Divination Commission is safe again. No need to thank me, Master Diviner. By the way, while you were possessed, you fired me from the Commission. So... that counts, right? 
I'll have to ask you to give me written notice that my contract's been unilaterally terminated. Then, with all the years I've spent in the Divination Commission, I'll be able to get a great severance package! And I already planned what to do with all the money. I'm gonna open a gaming parlor, hire a couple of workers to run it, and spend the rest of my days living off the profits. I'll have started a new life without having lifted a finger. <laughs> Are there two Ching Chues? Uh, I see. <clears throat> What a pity. I don't recall anything I may or may not have said while possessed by the Heliobus. In any case, Ching Chue, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be on duty back at the repository? Huh? M Master Diviner, you can't back out now! Of course I can. After all, there are always choices in life. You taught me that. <sighs> I can't convince real you, let alone possessed you. Master Diviner, you should get some rest. I'm gonna go take a br I mean, get back to work. My actions today brought great shame on the Divination Commission. I shall have to think of a way to keep her from talking. <laughs> Just kidding. Heliobi are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus's trickery, Diviner Fu. No need to blame yourself. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Apologies, but the Divination Commission is in disarray at the moment. I must return and set things in order. I'm afraid I cannot see you off in person. Wait! There's something we need to ask you. What is it? Mm, I agree that the Master Diviner gets possessed wouldn't make for a good headline. I don't care how you spin the story, so long as you leave my name and identity out of it. many things to attend to. Please allow me to save my thanks for another day. We won't delay you any longer. We need to go to Fictional Garden and seal Carolum away. It seems that your operations have met with some success. I've been browsing through some of the stories on Ghostly Grove myself. They make for good reading. As the saying goes, serious divination concerns serious matters. It is inevitable that someone performing divination day in and day out for the Sienjo would acquire inner demons, and Heliobus can take advantage of those. Fortunately, with your help, Fu Shren prevailed over her intruder. Do you enjoy listening to storytellers and watching immersion? In both cases, tales have a predetermined ending. But you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying them, should you? The same is true of life. Whether the end is predestined or not, it's worth living. Very well then. Miss Hanya is waiting for you by the suppression towers. Hey, weren't 
Heliobi. In order to catch Heliobi on the run. On behalf of the Ten Lords Commission, I commend you for your great service in resolving the Divination Commission Crisis. I will honor all of you before the Ten Lords. Thanks, Madam Hanya. But, uh, we really couldn't have defeated Carolyn without Miss Chintre's help. I didn't realize that one as skilled as Diviner Fu would also be susceptible to the power of the Helio Bai. That said, I can understand her plight. After all, we're all moving forward on our own unseen paths in no uncertain terms. Judges are instructed by the Ten Lords to carry out their orders, but no one ever explains their meaning to us. Just like the Master Diviner, no matter what cruel and horrible paths she foresaw, as long as it benefited the Lofu, she had to make a choice. Those choices may be correct and far-sighted, but we are, after all, flesh and blood, and we cannot help but agonize over the process of making them. Madam Hanya? I apologize. I was getting carried away. I think all the paperwork must have worn down my mental acuity. Today's business is finished. Please get some good rest. Right. Let's call it a day. And you too, Judge Hanya. Don't work yourself to death. It's finally time to get back to bed. Goodbye, everyone. Searching like this is the best way. Diner haunted. Evil spirit breaks into restaurant and eats double its body weight in food. Oh, do you think Tail did this? Seems like his style. Sounds like the very hungry criminal came up with a very poor excuse. What about this one? Uh, paranormal activity reported at exclusive horror immersion. Guests experience haunting within seven days of screening. It reminds me of when I used to watch horror immersion to train my courage. Whenever there was a suspenseful moment, Tail would jump up and scare me. Guys, I feel like this is just some sort of prank. Or a marketing stunt to boost ticket sales. 
Squaha has been browsing Ghostly Grove for hours. Every time she finds a suspicious incident, she says, Do you think Tail did this? Problem is, any suspicious incident could be Tail related when you think about it. I feel like Tail is still around. Oh, but if so, why didn't he come back to see me? That's right! We can't really know what a Heliobus is thinking, right? Tail was sealed away for ages and then suddenly let free. If it were me, I'd want some away time. You'll just have to be a little patient. Anyway, even if you don't find Tail, you're still a great judge. The success of our ghost hunting squad proves it. I... Uh, thank you, Miss Gray. I... I don't really get compliments. Without the encouragement of you squad members, I... <clears throat> Working with you guys has made me feel a little more confident. Oh, but it's hard not to think about the days when Tail was still around. Back then, I was a useless coward. I'd hide at the first sign of trouble. Tail would always complain about it. But he'd also get me out of danger. Hmm. <laughs> Reminds me of me and my brother. Sort of a love-hate relationship. Hey! Look at this! Did you find Tail? Tail would do? Tail or no tail, it's definitely the work of a Heliobus. Let's hurry up and get to the scene. There'll be trouble to pay if we're too late. We don't have time for that. Even if Cirrus does know something, by the time we've finished asking questions, it'll be too late. Be careful, everyone. This sounds like a very aggressive Heliobus. I just learned a new technique. I'll use it to end your life. Unauthorized personnel should keep their distance. It's dangerous here. Actually, we're... not really unauthorized, are we, Judge? Is that Sushang? And a judge? Why are the Ten Lords Commission here? It's a very long story, so let's deal with the problem at hand first. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, the Ten Lords Commission will handle this. Thank you for your cooperation. Understood. Please, take mercy on him. Don't worry, this sort of thing is our specialty. See you like this. Savor it for me. Here is thunder. Who's next? Judge Huahua, is he all right? His life isn't in danger, but his hands and feet are spasming, and his speech is incoherent. I think he's experiencing a delusion that he can't snap out of. I feel like I've been drained of my strength. 
Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, are you okay? Can you answer a few questions for me? Do you remember what happened to you? I... I think so. Let me think for a moment. Oh. I received a report today about... an infestation of abominations here at the Alchemy Commission. The, the captain sent me to clear it out. What happened after that was... like a dream? I, I can't explain it. My weapon suddenly started talking to me? It taught me fighting techniques, which moves to avoid, which moves to use, which stances to adopt to retain balance. Then it told me to relax and let it take control against the enemy. That sounds just like a Heliopus. I, I followed its instructions. To my surprise, it felt like my combat skills had greatly improved. Still, it told me I was incompetent, like a piece of rotten wood. It wanted to find a new apprentice to carry forward the art. It was only then that I realized there was a sword-wielding child beside me, staring right at me. Lots of children grow up learning to use a sword on the Lafu, but for a child to be walking around with one... I sure hope we're not thinking of the same person. I realized the boy was the general's retainer, Yin Xing. <sighs> I knew it! When I heard my sword say the name, I was in disbelief. And then, for some reason, I just attacked Yin Xing. Are you all right? You should be asking the Cloud Knight. What happened next was even more outlandish. Yin Xing looked like he was talking to the sword in his hand. He turned around and left without looking back. And my weapon? My weapon never spoke again. Not good. I'll take care of the Cloud Knight. You go after Yin Ching. Time well spent. I heard that Yan Qing's sword is a famous weapon crafted by the Artisanship Commission. It resonates with its master, reacting to his movements in battle like it has a mind of its own. He must have encountered some kind of danger, and his sword flew away to find someone to help, right? Danger? Miss Sushong, don't scare me like that! What kind of evil would be strong enough to pose a threat to Yan Qing? I'm not sure, but the Heliobi are strange creatures. Even the sharpest sword can't cut them. Uh-oh. I just had a thought. If it's not auspicious, you'd best not say it out loud. Based on what that Cloud Knight said... It isn't that Yin Ching's in danger. Exactly. 
follow the sword. No matter what, we have to find Yenqing before things get even worse. This is the dock for Dragon Prayer Terrace. Judging by the sword's behavior, that's where Yenqing is. Should we really be charging over there? Even without a Heliobus, Yenqing is a swords master among swords masters. Are... are you scared, Xuxiang? Me too. Compared to the other Heliobi we've dealt with so far, this one seems like it could do some serious damage. Scared? <laughs> My mother taught me swordplay as soon as I could walk. I might not be as good as the General's Apprentice, but I would never let cowardice dishonor the name of the Cloud Knights or the Family Sword. But I am... worried. If the Heliobus possessing Yenqing is too strong, I'm afraid I might not be able to guarantee everyone's safety. The General has been supporting our ghost hunting squad from the very beginning. It's time to return the favor! Even if it wasn't for the general's sake, as a judge, I can't let a Heliobus take over someone as dangerous as Yan Qing! Su Shang, Miss Gui, Mr. Trailblazer, please help me rescue him! Yan Qing is at Dragon Prayer Terrace! Let's go! Swords doing in Dragon Prayer Terrace. It must be a Heliobus illusion. Shouldn't we ring the harmonic chime and see if we can talk to Yenqing inside the illusion? Illusion? <laughs> Since each of you can see it, wouldn't that mean you'd fallen into the illusion as well? <laughs> Don't be alarmed. To me, this sword formation is a precious arsenal. When I gaze upon any one, a thousand sword fights dance before my eyes. The sword play far exceeding anything I have learned. And better yet, they welcome those who wish to pursue higher realms with open arms. The general? You lie! I've already finished my assignment at the Alchemy Commission. I have no further orders. This is my own time. I came here to learn from Master Apyra. To learn from these swords. Apyra? That Heliobus's name is Apyra? Correct. Master Apyra promised to show me the flaws in my swordplay and how to take it to the next level. That's why I brought them to Dragon Prayer Terrace, where I suffered my most serious setback. Young one, with me, everything will be different. Whether it be Imbibit or Lune, the Stellaron Hunters or that woman, your accomplishments will exceed them. You will be matchless. Without limits. Matchless without limits. <sighs> You're just in time. The swords have taught me something already. I'd like to see how sharp my skills have become. My skills are lacking. I've been through countless defeats. 
But with the Pyra as my master, no longer. A blade knows no mercy. I'll free you from your chin. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Your end approaches. Conflict is pitiless. Fail to send you. You're all in on it. That paradise may be unreachable. Savor it for me. Don't come any closer. Teams or devils, I'll crush them all. <laughs> Done. Show no mercy. A sword fight must be fought with sincerity of heart and mind. Give it your all! Lieutenant Yan Ching, snap out of it! We don't want to fight you! But I want to fight you! And we're just getting started. Cut through the ranks! <laughs> <laughs> Their skills are nothing compared to mine. What can I learn from any of them? Then... Why not hack them down right here? Hack them down? I thought we were just sparring. The laws of the battlefield are no different from the laws of the universe. Life for victory, and death for defeat. Swordsmanship is the art of victory. And only the victorious swords can be passed on. Swords defeated are buried among the barren wastelands. But... You're... resisting me? Rid yourself of these needless notions of clemency. How can you move forward? without casting these distractions aside. Raise your sword. <laughs> Life for victory and death for defeat, huh? All this talk of laws of the battlefield in the universe. You think that gives the appearance of a grandmaster? You're just using someone else's ambition to satisfy your own desire to shed blood. This Xuan Yuan sword in my hand has been passed down through my family for generations. When my mother gave it to me, she said, the bread may bake, but the heart remains. And for a long time, I had no idea what she was talking about. Today, I just realized that I misheard her. I think she actually said, the edge may break, but the heart remains. Probably. The Lieutenant Yinqing, the winner and loser of this battle, have yet to be determined. Don't give me that there's no point in fighting any longer speech. <laughs> this little wench's fighting spirit is on fire. Young one, since she insists on fighting, will you give her our answer? I... I won't back down. Mr. Shang, you... This is between fellow Cloud Knights. Losing a fight isn't a big deal, but if I abandon my fellow soldiers and bring dishonor to the Knights, how could I wield my sword again? Granted, I might not last more than a few moves. You guys go get the General, quickly! I'll try and hold him off until he gets here. Su Xiong, my bestie. Why is she so stubborn? Still, that was pretty freaking cool. The spirit bearer told me that the general is still in Fictional Garden. Let's hurry. I think the only one that can break Yan Qing's illusion is Jing Yan himself.
Huh. Is something the matter? You seem out of breath. Hmm. A heliobus that creates illusions for the sole purpose of instructing someone in sword there. <laughs> I wouldn't mind learning a few tricks from them myself. Unfortunately, it sounds like this one is a little too aggressive to be a decent sparring partner. This is not an adversary that someone as young as Yen Ching is equipped to deal with. General, we need to move fast! If we wait any longer, I'm afraid that Su Sheng might be... I can understand your sense of urgency. But before I leave, I have a question for Cirrus, who has been listening this whole time. I trust you are familiar with Pyra. Naturally. Among the Heliobi, Pyra manifests the courage and warring spirit of Ignemar. They are the most aggressive of all the fragments. But who is this Swordmaster? Who is Yin Ching? My apprentice. <laughs> wonder I smell a hint of sadness in you. In order to rescue his incompetent apprentice, the master must fight on the battlefield himself. I must say, I'm very envious of Apira. You'll know the flavor of sadness, but not its meaning. An apprentice obsessed with victory and defeat has lost his mind to a heliobus and is now trying to shortcut his way to mastery of the sword. This is my failure to him as a master. And the source of grief you see in me now. <laughs> then you should hurry. Apira has an insatiable bloodlust. Once they've enslaved your mind, they can make you turn against your friends, your kin, even your own master. <laughs> Go! I don't wish to delay your death match with your apprentice. Su Shang is awaiting our timely arrival at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Let's go. Foresight. Is that the best you can do? And I was thinking I'd be done for the moment you drew your sword. I didn't think... I didn't think I would last this long. I... I'm not half as bad as I thought. Young one, you're hesitating again. You're always hesitating. Your opponent is no match for you. Yet they have managed to fend you off for this long. As a swordsman have you not any pride? Do you want to repeat the disaster you suffered at Dragon Prayer Terrace? It's time to finish it. Only blood can cleanse the shame of the sword. He won't do it. General. Young one, your old teacher has arrived. Under his tutelage, you never experienced true failure. But after suffering your first major setback, your confidence in your swordsmanship has been faltering. You worry that the general is disappointed in you. You worry that you don't have what it takes to be the person the General wants you to be. Now, show him what I have taught you. He'll be very proud of your progress. Tell him that with your sword, you will bring victory to the Sienjo. With... 
with my sword. Yan Ching would never draw his sword on me to prove himself. I have confidence in him. This confidence is not a belief that he will win every contest. It is a belief that he will one day break free from the paradigm of victory and defeat and realize his true reason for wielding the sword. The pleasure of swordsmanship, the saving of life, and the dispatchment of enemies. This truth must be discovered by himself. No one can teach it to him. Now is the time for him to take that step. General, I... Break free from victory and defeat? Those are just empty words to comfort the dead and the defeated. Think of your crushing defeat at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Think of how you felt then, teetering on the brink of death. If the sword of that Stellaron Hunter had pierced your flesh, you wouldn't be standing here pondering the meaning of victory and defeat. Now is the time to break all your chains. Draw your sword on your master, to the general who is trying to imprison you. Draw your sword! General, allow me to demonstrate my swordsmanship. I hereby challenge you. Apira, I challenge these swords to battle! Young fool, how disappointing. Your accomplishments would have been limitless. But you were led astray by empty idealism. None of that matters anymore. While teaching you, I studied your every move inside out. And now you wish to throw down the gauntlet. Very well. In your own image and with your own techniques, I will teach you one final lesson. Your sword play, every stroke and sway, I've committed it all to memory. Now, allow me to demonstrate. Your merciless intent, how powerful I am. No, Lin Chang. Conceal your form and hide your intentions. Don't fall for their distractions. Understood. Fail to send you. Punish evil. <laughs> that paradise, savor it for me. What a headache! I will dispatch you. Conflict is fearless! Who's next? Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! <laughs> Show no mercy! Don't mess with me. You're all in on it. Is that it? I'll free you to disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Is that it? Fail to send you. Here is thunder. What a headache. One hit. 
One stroke of luck, one victory. <laughs> Impressive. I am bested. Ew, it's about time we got this guy into the gourd. General. I know what you wish to say, Yang Ching. We can move past the melodrama. <laughs> then, uh, to the rest of you, thank you for bringing me out of that daze. Especially you, Miss Sushang. Why does everyone that gets Helio bust love to apologize for it? You're the victim here. They're the ones stirring up chaos. It should be me thanking you for holding back during our battle. Or maybe, just maybe, it's due to a sudden skill improvement? Don't you think? Haha, <laughs> right. Conscious Suzhong is pretty badass. We're gonna need to get you a front page news story for this one. Heck, let's get some billboards! Oh, you've made it your daily mission to tease me, huh? With respect to this incident, what is your plan for posting on the Law Fu's ghostly grove? Since it concerns the seat of divine foresight, I am hoping you could. Well, about that. Let me discuss it with him first. Is everyone okay with this? Thanks for covering for me. I'm so embarrassed. All's well that ends well. We should hurry back and lock Apyra in the evil binding matrix. They're a dangerous one. I'm afraid they might escape. Well then, Yen Ching and I will take our leave now. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, I'm well aware of my own limits. If it weren't for Yanqing resisting that Heliobus, maybe I wouldn't have been able to hold on until you brought reinforcements. Come to think of it, we only needed one person to fetch reinforcements. Why didn't we get him to stay behind with you? And why didn't you ask? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I was caught up in the moment. I guess I never thought it through. Ugh. Sometimes I wonder whether your head screwed on right. We need to take you to the Alchemy Commission for a checkup. Maybe, but my actions kept everyone safe, and that's what matters. Miss Ho Ho needed someone to look out for her, and Little Quay is just a civilian. You shouldn't be putting yourself in risky situations. As for him, He's a distinguished guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. If anything were to happen to him, it could turn into a diplomatic crisis. After weighing things up in my head, it made the most sense for only me to stay put. Uh, if I still had my tail, I wouldn't be slowing everyone down. Sorry, Ho Ho. I, I didn't think it through. You were never a burden. It's not your fault, Miss Sushong. It's just... I've been wondering... Uh, how can someone average like me keep up with the affairs of the Ten Lords Commission without my tail? <sighs> Forget it. We should get some rest. There could be even bigger dangers waiting for us tomorrow.
It appears we are all present. The spirit bearers who were supposed to report to Huo Huo mentioned they didn't see her today. I'll get straight to the point. I have no idea where Huo Huo may be. However, if we combine our efforts, we may be able to piece together some clues. Each of you are close to Huo Huo. Did you notice anything unusual about her yesterday? Yeah, Miss Huohua has been trying to track down Tail. In addition to helping the squad, that is. What if Huohua came across a lead today? Something that sounded like Tail's doing. Knowing her, she's probably gone looking for him. And yet, she didn't come to any of us for help. That's not like her. Given the type of person she is, if she did have any clues, she would seek out our help. If she hasn't shared anything with us, it means there is only one possibility. Right. Maybe someone deceived her with news about Tail. Uh, told her she could only go alone. Sounds like a trick some nasty kidnapper would use. Cirrus. The only one who may have knowledge of Tail's whereabouts is Cirrus, whose plans were foiled due to Tail's actions. Even if Cirrus doesn't know where Tail is, given the shared history, they wouldn't hesitate to cause trouble. Let's go. We must try to squeeze some answers out of Cirrus. Well, well, insects who don't know when to quit. I sense you have questions. Go on, ask away. Huahua is missing, and I'm willing to bet you know something about it. How careless. <laughs> your companion vanishes right under your noses, and you fail to notice. Why am I the one you're pestering? The Ten Lords Commission might not be able to completely eradicate the Helio by, but we have plenty of ways of dealing with them. Ooh, how threatening. <laughs> Save your breath. I know your tactics. Let's cut to the chase. I do know something about it. I knew it! Believe it or not, while you were distracted, she came and found me. She asked me if I knew where Mr. Tail was, and I simply gave her a clue. She searched high and low, but came back empty-handed, of course. If only you could have seen her expression, simultaneously terrified and desperate to know more. <laughs> Utterly hilarious. In the end, I became fed up with her constant nagging. I told her that her beloved tail had splintered and been reduced to an ember without a single memory. You should have seen her face! <laughs> I started feeling sorry for her. Out of pity, I told her that her tail was hiding in Cloudford, preparing to flee the Sienjo on a star skiff. I also told her that the Ten Lords Commission was in the process of recapturing all the Heliobi. If she were to turn to you for help, Mr. Tail would be imprisoned, even if she managed to find him. Looks like she took the bait! Lies! You can't possibly know where Tail disappeared to. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I have no doubt about one thing. My friends 
are ready and waiting for her in Cloudford. You should have faith in your friend. Perhaps Wawa is safe and sound. Perhaps she managed to subdue the Heliobi. If you rush to Cloudford, there's still a chance you might find her. Not good. Let's head to Cloudford quickly. The paperwork will have to wait. I'm coming with you. Hold on. Let me take a look at her. She's unresponsive. It looks like a Heliobus has taken control of her mind. This isn't just a Heliobus illusion. It's a complete sensory barrier. Cutting off the individual from the outside world. In this case... Even the harmonic chime won't work. This isn't something the healers at the Alchemy Commission can handle. I'll take Huo Huo back to the Ten Lords Commission. Perhaps they'll have an answer. As for now, I'm temporarily suspending the activities of the Ghost Hunting Squad. But... The situation has changed completely. Without the assistance of a judge, continuing would place all of you in grave danger. Defeating the purpose of the squad. But Miss Hanya, this is to save our friend. I know. I understand. But please, let the Ten Lords Commission deal with this. We'll find a way to extract this Heliobus from Huo Huo. Miss Hanya, tell me straight. Does the Ten Lords Commission actually have a solution? Yeah! Cirrus is bound to know what this Heliobus is up to! No, we shouldn't do what they expect us to do. They've been manipulating us from Fixed Troll Garden all along. We need to find out what they really want before we go any further! We are not completely out of options. It might be possible to use another Heliobus to drive out the one that seized Wohua's mind. But why would a Heliobus ever want to help people? Wait... Miss Hanya, do you mean to say that... I've been keeping tail here all along. Wh what Don't look so surprised, young lady. Surprised? Huahua has been worried sick trying to find you, and now something else has gone after her! You... flaming... furball! What the heck is going on? Did you know about this the whole time, Miss Hanya? As per our rules, any free-roaming Heliobus must be sealed away. I was merely following protocol. Besides, it was Tail who requested this. <sighs> It's a long story. I only recall a moment during that fateful night when my consciousness was on the verge of shattering into a million pieces. Time stood still. I watched myself parting from Ignamar, drifting without purpose. Then, before I knew what had happened, the girl had retrieved me, and a judge of the Ten Lords Commission had shielded me within a tail. I believe you humans call this kind of thing an end-of-life experience. But why would a Heliobus experience one of those? Ridiculous. Since I'd slipped the leash, I thought I might as well change bodies and savor a bit of freedom. But then... Lucky for you, you met me. 
my luck took a sour turn when I ran into this demoness. I mean, Judge. When I was with Huahua, she constantly ranted about me, whining about all the problems I caused her, how oh, I'd ruined her life. <laughs> uh, it was only after I vanished that she realized she'd taken my power for granted. I wanted to hear her cry about it. So, in a fit of anger, I had this demon, a judge, imprison me in the gourd. You had had your wish. Now, I'm offering you a chance to regain your freedom. Not by letting you go, but by going back to the way things were. Do we have a deal? Can I trust you, Tail? Ugh. Of course! We're pretty much co-workers at this point. So, all I have to do is possess Hua Hua and take out those other pesky Heliobi, right? Time to give this heedless creature a reality check. <laughs> it's exorcism o'clock! Where... Where am I? Tail? Are you here? I feel like I've been possessed. Tail, is that you? Oh no. No, it can't be him. Tail always said only the most privileged are worthy of being his host. Stop overthinking, Hoa. What should I do now? Mom? Is this an illusion? <sighs> Mom, what are you doing here? I've missed you so much! S stay back! Don't come any closer! I don't know who you are, but you're not my Hua Hua. Keep that filthy thing you're carrying away from me. <sighs> I'm sorry, Hua Hua. Your father and I had no choice but to send you to the Ten Lords Commission. Oh, it's best if you pretend we never existed. Anyway, let's get out of here. But I'm not a monster. <laughs> what should I do? leaves me. I don't want to be alone. Not again. I haven't left! Please, Tail. 
No more words. I can't bear to see you fade away. Are you a judge or not? This Heliobus is distorting your perceptions. Get a grip! Resist them! They've all gone. All abandoned me. All gone? Just watch me. I'll drag them all back. Bring this one back. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's better that you pretend Mom and Dad are no longer here. How can your own flesh and blood be so heartless? These humans. Bring this one back. Why does Wohua get so much attention? I'm gonna get everyone to ignore her. Ugh, the behavior of these brats is astounding. that your tail is cooler than mine. Whoa, whoa, I've always dreamed about having such a cool tail. Why don't you come play with me? <laughs> well, they're only here because you possessed them and made them come back. This isn't what I meant. Oh, come on. You wanted them to return. They return. Tail? You're not an illusion. Oh, oh, you're here! You're actually Tail! Oh. Ah. Where have you been all this time? I thought you were already... <laughs> Dead! Well, I haven't exactly had a picnic. Exploding into countless shards, being your shadow for all those rotten years. It's about time I had some good luck. I thought about getting out of here, but uh, I couldn't shake the feeling there was something wrong. So I came back to see if you could manage on your own, or if you were still a scary cat. I'm sorry. I guess I still am. No! You're selling yourself short. You're daring. How you had the courage to do something so dangerous amazes me. 
It's not bravery you lack, but shench. Huh, what other choice did I have? I suspected that Cirrus was deceiving me, but the thought of losing you forever was... Uh, unbearable. Forget about all that. I'm here now. But... Did everyone really leave you... because of me? Since you put it like that, I suppose I have nothing to feel guilty about anymore. <laughs> uh, well, somebody needs to keep you out of trouble. Speaking of which, there's a pesky Heliobus lurking right here. I'm coming for you. Don't even think about escaping. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder! I'm gonna hold everyone back again! Get them! Fiends or devils! I'll crush them all! Don't mess with me! I'll end your misery! Unscathed! Yeah. Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! A blade knows no mercy. What a headache. Who's next? Surrender! By the Tambor. I'm scared! I'm scared. That paradise, savor it for me. Don't mess with me. Whoa! You're awake! Seems like Tails' operation was a success! Uh, Madam Hanya... Miss Gui, Su Shang, and Mr. Trailblazer. Oh, thank you, all of you. Are you the ones who brought Tail back? Well, where would we be without our squad leader? We had to help. Oh, so Scaredy Cat is squad leader. Well, well, look at you. Aw, oh, that's just what Miss Gwainiphen calls me. <laughs> well, well. Tail actually does belong to Miss Wahua. Uh, excuse me? Despite Cirrus' scheming and calculating, they clearly didn't expect Tail to return to Huahua. Their plan to kidnap her was an utter failure. If they saw Huahua as she is now, it would break their will. Madam Hanya, urgent news from Fixtral Garden. The subdued Heliobi are stirring again. Cirrus may not know the location of Tail, but they still figured out a way to divert everyone's attention. Uh, it's not because of me, is it? There's no need to blame yourself. This was Cirrus's plan all along. It looks like the end game that General Jing Yuan has been trying to avoid is fast approaching. Su Shang, please head to the seat of Divine Foresight and fetch the general. Let's hurry back to Fixtral Garden now, while there's still a chance to turn things around. 
It's time to teach Cirrus a lesson. If it isn't the judges at the Ten Lords Commission, sluggish as ever. Oh! And is that Mr. Tail? Back to being a guard dog, I see. How delightful! This calls for a celebration. Still, after our last encounter, I have no intention of including you in my plans. To see Ignamar's most powerful fragment now burdened with emotions pains me. It's a pity, but you've become expendable. Who are you calling expendable? The Ten Lords Commission's Matrix is still intact. The Heliobi cannot leave Fixtral Garden. You may think you have the upper hand, but you're nothing more than a caged animal. You will never leave here. Leave? That was never my plan. I came to Fixtral Garden for one reason and one reason alone. To fight the Lofu's formidable general? He seemed fond of playing the waiting game. I merely capitalized on that. Well, you were all out on a wild goose chase. I rallied other Heliobi to my cause, thereby increasing my strength. Thanks to all of you, I've amassed the power of every Heliobus sealed within Fixtral Garden. All I need to do now is wait for the General to make his grand entrance. Before that happens, I should keep my end of the bargain. Destroying you without leaving a trace. For the master stroke. Show no mercy. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I'll end your misery. A blade I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Conflict is pitiless. Don't mess with me. Time to suffer. Suppress. No, no, no. We are trifling. Stay. What? Threat rate. I'm scared. Stay put. I'll free you from your chest. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Give me strength. Keep on coming back for more. What should we do, Tail? Take it easy, kid. Heliobi might lack physical form, but they're not impervious to physical attacks. Cirrus is merely putting on a brave face. 
The moment they sense even a hint of defeat, it's over. They'll break into pieces regardless of how powerful they are. So, just like what happened to Ignamar, once a Heliobus realizes they're going to lose, they'll shatter? Exactly. And if there's anyone who can cause Cirrus to shatter, it's him. So, General, you finally decided to show up. Ready to face the music? Defeat my army and I'll give you the rematch you seek. My words hold true. As I mentioned previously, when Tang Xiao and Ignamar fought, the scales were balanced. But for you, Cirrus, this game was never about fairness, was it? And yet here we are. My power decidedly outmatches yours. Notions of rules and equal competition are mere illusions. Now if you don't mind, allow me to show you how the endgame is played. Devils! I'll crush them all! <laughs> Show no mercy! Let Paradise savor it for me. <laughs> I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> Approaches. Conflict is pitiless. Accept your defeat. You are bested. Time to suffer. Well timed. Fail to send you. What a headache. What? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Follow my charge. I'm scared. I'm scared. Stay put. Give me strength. A blade knows no mercy. I'm proved. That paradise, savor it for me. no faint flicker that could strategize such a fierce battle against one of the Rainbow Arbiter's generals. Ugh, listening to a winner feign humility is enough to make one sick. The Heliobi may reflect our desires, but their fervent blaze is undeniably awe-inspiring. Neither General Tang Xiao nor myself would deride such a foe. I have been bested. It's true. I only sought to lock horns with you regardless of victory or defeat. Next, I'll... Next is eternal punishment. For an inextinguishable flame such as yourself, I see no punishment more fitting 
than to see you confined to a vacant abyss, forever lamenting your past transgressions. Such is the fate that awaits you, Cirrus. <laughs> so be it. Mountains will crumble, oceans will evaporate, but the Heliobi will always be there, patiently waiting for their day of freedom. And that day will come. As long as the generals of the Xianzhou live, my battle against them will continue. Until the stars themselves burn out. Cirrus's will to fight has been shattered. They can no longer pose a threat. Considering that everything here is now under control, I'll take my leave. <sighs> Not at all. You have been of great assistance these past days. And for that, I express my gratitude. But the Heliobus we dealt with will not be easily dismissed. Given sufficient time, and regardless of how slim the odds are, they will someday break the seal that binds them. However, that concern will fall to the generals of the future. One cannot help but wonder how many Lawfu generals this fragment of Ignamar will face in times to come. Speaking purely from the perspective of a warrior, I must say, I feel somewhat envious. That it may be, but they cause no shortage of trouble. Perhaps I could glean some wisdom from the Sienjo Juni. This excursion was not an official matter. I didn't report it to the counselors. What remains of it will be left to the Ten Lords Commission. And once matters have concluded, I believe everyone present will be duly rewarded. And as for you and the young Miss Gwynaifen, rest assured you won't be shortchanged. You see, helping the General of the Law Fu does have its perks. <laughs> it's time I took my leave. Farewell. In order to catch Heliobi on the run. There's always this big You're here. I've just finished reinscribing the seal on Huohua's tail. Next, it's time to address the matter of Cirrus. If I were merely Starfire Essence, then naturally I'd prefer to glide through the cosmos. <sighs> but after being entangled in your human world, my freedom is no longer that simple. I'm freer than ever before. I'm going nowhere. Mm. According to the Ten Lords, Tail must be supervised by a judge. <laughs> I'll make sure to take good care of Mr. Tail. <laughs> Let's see who takes care of who. Mm, besides, when Mr. Tail isn't around, the other Heliobi pick on me. I feel safer when Tail is here. <laughs> other Heliobi? <laughs> I'm the only Heliobus you need to worry about. Well then, I will take care of the Sira situation. 
As for what gets written in the Lolfu's ghostly grove, I'll leave that up to you. One more thing. Don't forget to seal the Heliobi within the evil binding matrix. Yes, ma'am! Since when did Fix Storm Garden to my mom about the recent monster slaying and demon fighting stuff I've been doing for the Ten Lords Commission. What did you tell her? I told her I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the sword fighting prodigy Enching and held my own against fragments of Ignamar. But all she did was scold me for getting into trouble. Do you think she was being sarcastic? What could be more important than protecting the Sienjo from the threat of Heliobi? <laughs> Quit worrying, Sushong. You've been an awesome squad member and a very talented sleepyhead. Now, let's think about what to publish on Ghostly Grove. This is huge news. This post will definitely boost our following. Always on the hunt for more followers. It's called professionalism, all right? I'm counting on you. The ghost hunting squad can now rest easy for a while. Speaking as a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, I must thank you all for the dedication you've shown these past few days. You really minimized the impact of the Heliobi crisis. There may have been a few Heliobi that slipped through the net, but they are of no major concern. Leave them to us! I don't want to brag, but our articles on Ghostly Grove are the talk of the town. If we suddenly stop uploading, It'd be pretty unfair to our audience. Miss Gwei. Madam Hanya, please let little Gwei carry on uploading. I can't fall asleep without browsing Ghostly Grove before bed. <sighs> you seem pretty set on this, so I won't stand in your way. However, bear in mind that... Don't worry. We promise not to make your job any harder than it already is. <laughs> 